Hi and well, welcome to the Tech Zone. My name is David. Today we are going to uh, are going to show you how to connect an eGPU to the MSI Prestige 14. So this is the setup. It's uh, meant is uh, Venus uh, case, and in that case I have an RTX 2080 Ti. And uh, on the back side you can see the connections. Uh, of course, the connections to the uh, to the GPU and uh, also some uh, uh, USB uh, USB ports, and we have also two on the front side. So that is very nice, and you can also have an um, uh, SSD connected inside that box. So just connect uh, the cable uh, to the uh, to the laptop, and you see uh, all directly you have a Thunderbolt uh, uh, device connected. So just click on that one and uh, open up the Thunderbolt center, connect center. And uh, here you just connect, um, choose always connect. And uh, after that you just uh, push OK on the bottom side of the control center. And uh, then it's just to wait. And uh, it takes uh, a few seconds before uh, we have a connection. So now it's connected, and you can see my setup. It's uh, uh, three, two screens, um, uh, one connected via HDMI and the other with via the display port. So uh, let's check uh, the device manager and see what do we have. And here you can see uh, the NVIDIA uh, RTX 2080 Ti. And I also can see that it's, um, it's a, a problem there with the uh, built-in GTX 1650. So I suggest you di um, disable that uh, device before you connect to an um, eGPU. Otherwise, you have to uninstall it and uh, boot the laptop to have it back in, uh, in uh, correct status. So disconnect uh, the device um, um, and connect it again. You will see a funny thing because um, I have done this before. Just disconnect and connect um, uh, the device on uh, my previous HP Spectre X360, the 13-inch variant, and that, th there you could connect and disconnect and connect and disconnect without any issues uh, whatsoever. So uh, open up the Thunderbolt uh, 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 pro program, you can see it looks like it's uh, connected, but uh, it, it really isn't. And you can see here it uh, also disconnect. Uh, uh, the, the graphic card, but if you check under the uh, in the device manager, you can see that it's uh, still connected. <laughs> that is very strange. <laughs> I never ever maybe it's the new Thunderbolt uh, program that uh, is uh, not as good as the, the previous. Uh, I, I don't really know. I haven't tried any other Thunderbolt programs either. You can see it's uh, obviously not uh, connected. So, and uh, you can you, you can't see the Thunderbolt uh, program uh, here either, and that's also quite strange. Um, so, I, I really don't like this uh, new Thunderbolt uh, program. So, what we are going to do now is to. Uh, uh, Disconnect the cable and uh, uh, boot uh, into BIOS. And I will show you how, how I have set it up to uh, work uh, properly. You have to press uh, delete uh, button on, an, on any MSI device, I guess. And here, under advanced, you will have to set uh, make uh, Thunderbolt. Uh, wake th from Thunderbolt device and uh, uh, 
Och så Thunderbolt Boot Support, Boot Ones. There is another option there also, but uh, that I didn't find useful. And uh, so I just uh, connect uh, the cable and uh, uh, boot up the device and you will see that uh, this is the way to go. It's uh, quite easy. So if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, also I would really love if you can support the channel by subscribing. So, uh, so there you see the, the boot logo on the main screen. <laughs> That's quite strange. I thought first it uh, should be on the laptop, but uh, it uh, wasn't. And uh, so now we are <coughs> inside. Just uh, uh, verify with your fingerprint or whatever. So here you can see the screens are up uh, and uh, working nicely. So uh, we're going to reboot uh, the device uh, once more so, so that you can uh, see that it uh, is uh, working without issues. So many laptops, but uh, this is the most uh, the, the one that works uh, the least good, I can say. I I have the Huawei MateBook X Pro also, and that uh, didn't uh, connect so good either. But uh, this way, by booting up the device and uh, have the cable connected, that works uh, flawlessly. So, uh, we are connected again. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for uh, watching this video. And um, if you have questions, uh, put them in the com comment section below. And, uh, yeah, any other questions or games you want me to want to show you, I can do that for you. So, uh, thank you very much. And see you next video. Bye-bye.